in this series, we will explain plagiarism and how to avoid it. It is important that you understand what plagiarism is and the expectations that faculty have for your time here in CCEE. Why do we care about integrity in your coursework? Well, the engineering profession has high ethical standards. Our expectations for your honesty and integrity here in CCEE prepare you for a lifetime of honest, ethical decision-making in your profession. So what is plagiarism? Plagiarism occurs when you take the thoughts, ideas, words, or efforts of others and represent them in your work as your own. It is the responsibility of every student to know and understand academic integrity policies at NC State. So how does NC State define plagiarism? Academic integrity is covered under the Student Code of Conduct. Here, plagiarism is defined as representing the work of others as your own or submitting written materials without proper attribution or acknowledgement of the source. This means not citing something properly. You may not realize all the kinds of writing that may be considered plagiarism. This includes borrowing another student's paper from a previous term, using one of your own papers from a previous course, otherwise known as self-plagiarism, having someone else write some or all of your project for you, including purchasing them online through a paper mill. These examples may seem obvious, but they do happen. Other forms of plagiarism also include including materials or ideas from a source but not including any citation, thereby passing off the ideas as if they were your own, not using quotation marks and including proper citation, including page numbers, when quoting material word for word from a source, and adding extra sources you did not use in a paper to meet a minimum reference requirement for a bibliography. Now that you know what plagiarism is, how can you avoid it? We have four tips for this. Number one is to start a project in advance and create a plan for completion. Pressure can lead to poor decision-making or cutting corners. Number two, cite any material you use to develop your project. Number three, write all notes on readings and other sources in your own words when you're initially doing your research. And number four, make sure that you choose the correct citation strategy for the situation. What are these citation strategies? There are three main ways you can incorporate the work of others into your work. You can quote them directly, you can paraphrase, or you can summarize. Stay tuned for part two, because in the next video, we will explain exactly how to use these citation strategies correctly.